People really enjoy the breakfast here. It's something a little bit different than what they get on a normal basis. Monica has really come into her own as a chef. I try to do something unique, something they've hopefully never seen before. I make up stuff sometimes. She is always experimental, but she's always consistent and she's always fun. And she always cooks a lot of food. So you're, you're gonna like something. We always try to do a two course breakfast at minimum which is where they'll get an appetizer to start and then they'll get the main course right afterwards. So it's something that maybe they wouldn't do at home or even at a normal restaurant either. But sometimes you'll you'll see some things that will challenge you and push you out of your comfort zone. That's part of the experience. You know, we encourage people to have fun and take some risks. Maybe you're gonna have ice cream for breakfast. Maybe you're going to have cheesecake for breakfast. There's also gonna be some staples of things that we know people love. Bacon, sausage, parfaits, fruit. There always is a wide variety to choose from, and it's it's a lot of food, so no one ever goes hungry. We make sure that. I start pretty early, usually around seven, prepping and getting ready. I usually have several dishes in mind that I want to serve. So we want guests to feel, uh, first of all, welcome when they come down in the morning. We like to greet them as they come down the stairs or walk inside of the mansion. They get to come down and a little surprised by what we're serving. Sometimes I don't even know what I'm serving until the last minute. We show them to the solarium and then we always ask them what they want to drink. We offer coffee, juices, and water. So just making sure that they're taken care of with that. And then whenever they're ready to eat, uh, we always bring them an appetizer and then their main course whenever they're ready for it. If they want to sip on their coffee for just a little bit, of course that's always welcome. Before you know it, main course is out and uh, you've had yourself a little uh, multiple course breakfast meal. Breakfast presents some challenges occasionally. It's not knowing when people are gonna come down exactly. So usually the night before, we will know how many trays we have if someone wants breakfast delivered to their room. But if they don't want breakfast delivered to their room, then we're not exactly sure what time they'll come down between our 45 minute window. So that's something that we just have to be prepared for and keep the food fresh for everybody that comes down either at nine o'clock or all the way up to 9.45. Once in a while I burn things terribly or drop things and sometimes things take a little longer than they're supposed to. Um, and we just got this new stove and oven so I'm kind of in a learning curve right now. It's just a lot of people to feed, especially on the weekend morning. People are hungry and you just have to develop a good system and you have to communicate well with your team and execute at a high level. We always do take into consideration dietary restrictions and things of that nature. We try to always work with people the best we can. Are thoughtful about cross contamination. If people have a severe allergy, I myself have a severe allergy. You know, I want to make sure that when people come here, they are fed, fed well, despite having some restrictions or, or even allergies. It's important for us that guests feel homey, that they feel relaxed. You know, this isn't a fast food restaurant. It's just very intimate. It's fun, it's laid back. A lot of times people who are sitting down and having breakfast will chit chat with people who are also staying. And more times than not, they have something in common that they didn't even realize. We want people get to enjoy something unique and flavorful and filling. You know, they won't be hungry hopefully until lunch again. We always like to make sure they're doing okay during their meal, just to make sure that they've had enough to eat. Um, and usually it's right on the borderline of just enough or a little bit too much. When guests arrive, most of them are stressed. Life is stressful and they're leaving. They have maybe a crazy busy week at work and they want to connect with their loved one or their family member that they're bringing or even sometimes people just come for themselves. They want to enjoy that time where they're unwinding after a crazy busy week. and. They're coming into the door, usually in that mode. We want them to just step back in time and immediately start to unwind. You know, I try to remember that yeah, even though I feel a little crazy and frenzied sometimes just preparing food, I want guests to just enjoy and savor every moment of their time.